I realized it was really windy at the beach and you couldn't hear anything we were saying. So I had to refilm some um, footage to basically explain what we're doing. So today we're photographing for the Pro Photo A10 speed light. It's also a remote flash, which is really handy. This light is really powerful, so it was cool to discover just how much we could do with it. I have a gel on it today, but um, you can also kind of attach grooves and different things to funnel the light and change the light color. I really like the warmth of this and it helped for our photos. But yeah, basically we're out on the beach shooting and we're doing a couple of photos on a tripod. Um, that's pretty typical of what Christian and I do. We normally have a tripod around and when we're taking photos together, we, we use that. This is also something we rarely do, using natural light with a, um, a man-made source of light. But it's really fun to experiment with. And I have to say, having a light source that you can remotely put anywhere you want and basically bounce into a shot is really handy. I think there's a stereotype around how cheesy it is to use lights and that's because it's, in my opinion, directly from the camera source. You're kind of bouncing light into an already naturally lit situation and you have like a beautiful sunset and then this fake light that almost looks like a, um, what's it called? Almost looks like a reflector. It can often look really just not that good. So yeah, it's cool to have the ability to detach it and then add just like a little pencil wherever you want basically in a photo. So this also comes with um, a trigger that you attach to your camera or you can attach to your phone. And that basically feeds the light source and you can remotely control the strength of the light or how targeted you want the light from an app, which is the Profoto app. Gear-wise, we have, um, I'm shooting on the Nikon D850, which is what I'm filming on now. I'm also shooting on a 24mm lens, which is pretty typical. Um, I also normally have a 100mm lens, which I take with me to get the, like, the textual close-up shots in conjunction with the wider shots. I really like the mix of those two together. And we're also using a Peak Design tripod, which is my favourite tripod I've found so far. It's really, really lightweight. It's also got good height and stability, and it also compacts into a really small tripod, so you'll see it in the behind the scenes. It'll be just as good. The fire will seem contrived in a spot like this. It won't make any sense. Okay. I'm not going to get in trouble, which is going to ruin my sense of jail. So <laughs> I'm still thinking about it. If I get in trouble with the ball, it, it makes it make it trouble. I will get in trouble with the ball. Who started the fire? We're going to leave the gel on for like a warmer light colour. Come on in, take a look at what we're doing. <laughs> so we've got this beautiful pro photo. <laughs> that was really cool against the rock. It's such a, it's like so beautifully designed. It actually really is. Like looking at it, I'm like, that's a cool tool. Grab the light and just move out on this ledge. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna shoot from lower though, and then get cooler. <laughs> Like the way that you've used it is so different yeah. I think is whenever you can take something and repurpose. That's super cool.
right, and oh, all right, we got some. We did good. Thank you, Michaela. Thank it's you. literally about to come in, so let's get back before we die.